UGA spring practice starts today. So let's talk some dogs on the on three round table. Let's bring in Jake Rowe from Dogs HQ. And unbelievable recruiting classes have come through Athens since Kirby Smart arrived. Um, I want to talk about some instant impact freshmen at UGA. And we'll start with some skill players first. Is there a player on offense and a player on defense, newcomers, that fans can expect to hear a lot about this spring? Yeah, I mean, uh, Chauncey Bowens comes in my, comes to mind on the offensive side of the ball. Branson Robinson is not going to be available for Georgia this spring. Mm-hmm. Uh, and while they did add Trevor Etienne, uh, he, Chauncey Bowens is the only uh, of the three tailbacks that Georgia signed in this class who's going to be available to go this spring. So I, I like him as a potential guy that can can step up and, and make some plays and, and maybe make a name for himself. Uh, you know, he's definitely going to have a jump start when it comes to hit the competition with with Nate Frazier and and Dwight Phillips is is having an opportunity to play as a true freshman. Move to, to me is easy, and it's not necessarily because he's the best player in this class. I think Ellis Robinson is the best defensive back, the best player in this class. But KJ Bolden, mm-hmm. it, it it comes down to to opportunity, and Georgia needs to find the safety it's going to pair with Malachi Starks. It needs to find its third safety slash defensive back to kind of put in its six defensive back sets. Well, you know, Dan Jackson's there. He's a former walk-on. Jake Pope's there. He hasn't played a lot of football, knows the system. Um, you got David Daniel Sisavon. You've got Ja'Cory Thomas again. Guys with limitations. K.J. Bolden does not fit that mold. He hasn't played a lot of ball yet, but he's he's trended up since he's gotten to Georgia. He's shown off some really good speed. He has changed his body and, and has put on some weight. Um, you know, I was just telling a good friend of both of ours, Philip Dukes, here the other day. He said, hey, what would you do if you're Georgia and, and you know, you, you had to figure out that other safety position opposite Starks? I told him, I said, man, I think I would put K.J. Bold in their game one and just figure it out. I would figure it out and let him grow and let him make some mistakes because you're going to have him play it. You're going to have him do it in later September against Alabama. He's going to be more ready against Texas in October. He's going to be even more ready against Ole Miss in November. And then, you know, as a, as a potential playoff team, um, you know, you get to the postseason, you've got a guy that's not a freshman anymore. All right. Now, what about the trenches? And, and of course, the trenches are a little bit more developmental. You don't exactly make an early impact all the time on the offensive or defensive line. But what are you hearing on some of the early enrollees thus far? You know, uh, going into the, to the winter workout period, I would have said Michael Looney. Like I would have said, absolutely, Michael Looney is going to be the guy that's going to be the most ready to play. Yeah. But I tell you what, man, you know, Rusty's been reporting this, and we've been kind of hearing it over at Dogs HQ. Daniel Calhoun has really done a good job since getting to Georgia. You know, he, he was north of 370 pounds whenever he arrived on Georgia's campus. He's south of 330 pounds at this point, and he is, he's gotten himself into some shape. I'm really interested to see the kind of player he can be with his weight in check because I feel like he played heavy his last couple of years there at the high school level. And, um, you know, he's a guy that, that to me fits at maybe either tackle position and he definitely can fit at either guard position. So there's some versatility there. It's not like you're going to use him to, to do all of those things. But George is looking for one more guard and one more tackle at least. Um, you know, they've, they've got a good core there. They've got a little bit of depth there, but they're looking for somebody to step up and develop, and I think that could be the guy. Defensively, it's a no-brainer. Joseph Jonah Janye is – this cat's 17 years old, Beast. and he won't turn 18 years old until the very end of his of his first football season at Georgia, until November. Um, you're looking 6'4", 275, 280 pounds. He's been impressive. Uh, I think – Looking at defensive end, Georgia likes to have three. You got Tyreen Ingram Dawkins. You've got Gabe Harris. I really do believe that Joseph Jonah Johnny can put him himself in a position to get into that rotation and at least from the jump start to give Georgia maybe eight to twelve snaps a game. All right. Well, spring ball starts today. Georgia getting after it this spring. There's going to be a ton of position battles and potentially some freshman impact players. Jake Rowe from Dogs HQ. Appreciate you stopping by the On3 Roundtable. You got it, dude.